Allowing life to continue when another life ends, there is a push going on today to get people to sign up to be organ donors as National Donate Life Month is being celebrated. News 8's Ken Pierce has the details from Hartford. These folks want you to know this is Organ and Tissue Donation Month. If you didn't know that, these high school students will remind you. Shannon's poster is the beautiful um, pencil drawing of the hands. These are the winners of a contest to make posters to get people to become organ donors. And if you need a reason to sign up, just ask Michael. He's alive because of a donated kidney. There are so many people out there who are waiting for all different types of organs, liver, kidney, pancreas. Um, and there are so many people that their lives could be extremely changed by, by organ donation. Or you could ask Jamie. She lost her mother because she couldn't get a kidney. A new kidney symbolized the bright lit star in the darkest of nights. It symbolized hope. It meant a new, healthy, and rich life that my mother so very much deserved. Donate Life is the organization trying to put an end to stories like that. Right now, there are 1,300 people waiting for donated organs in Connecticut. As this display shows, just this one donor, Brian Hood, supplied organs and tissue to more than 50 people in need. And signing up is as simple as saying yes when they ask at the DMV, and they will ask. By asking every customer every time if they would like to become a donor, we are not only doing our job, but helping to save lives. You've got to renew your driver's license every few years anyway, so why not just say yes to becoming an organ donor the next time it comes up for renewal or even before, and no doctor or emergency room will ever treat you any different just because you're an organ donor. At the Capitol, I'm Kent Pierce, News 8.